today I wanted to share something with you that I've been putting off for several years. I've worked hard since the recession to get a lot of my properties paid for. During the recession, lending dried up and you couldn't get a loan to save your life. And then with some of the things that happened to me, uh, credit wise, I wasn't able to get loans for a long time. That's not really the case anymore. My credit is back up to where it should be. So I've been fighting a decision for several years. Do I refinance my houses, get some cash out, or do I slowly just sell them off? And the answer over the past years has been to sell off the new ones that I get to investors or as retail in order to get cash up to buy more property. But recently with the craziness going on in the world and in the markets, lending has dried up again. So although I'm not in need of cash necessarily, I do want to replenish my cash supply. So the decision was, should I refinance my houses or should I sell some off? So today I've made the decision to sell off a couple of my babies, three of them actually. These are houses I've had for over a year or two, some of them three or four years, one or two of them even five years. So these are rentals that have produced for me over time and today is the day to sell them off to get our stockpile of cash built back up. I'm going to talk to you about why I decided to go this option instead of refinancing. So we're going to head towards closing. We'll talk about the decision along the way. So many people are going to wonder, well, why didn't you just do a refinance instead of selling off some of your properties? I mean, with a refinance, there's no tax implications at all. Whereas if you sell property, if you sell it for a gain, then you have to pay taxes on it. And that's a very good argument for doing a refinance. However, in the environment right now, some of the refinancing I was looking into has actually dried up and gone away and it happened fast, just like it did back in 2008, nine and 10. So it got to where the terms that had been attractive a couple of months ago, the, the price of getting that capital, the interest rates, the closing fees on doing a large loan, just to me wasn't a viable option. The other reason why I chose to sell some property instead of refinancing is as you know, if you watch this channel, I also trade dividend stocks and options for income. And I don't like some of the things that have gone on in the past couple weeks with the government as far as real estate investors. Locally, the Sheriff's Department has decided that they are not going to deliver eviction notices. So although I can begin the eviction process, I actually cannot finish the process because the Sheriff's Department is not delivering those notices. This presents a challenge for people like me who, who work for myself and who live totally on my investments. And one of the biggest investments is my rental property. So I don't like that all of a sudden I'm not allowed to put people out that have the ability to pay but have decided not to pay. The government has also done a lot of good things to help these people in increasing unemployment. So they should have the money to pay the rents that we charge. They're not very high rents. They're very typical of standard bread and butter houses. But if they choose to stay, which we actually have a tenant right now who is already doing that, then we actually cannot evict them. So I've decided to move some of my investments over more towards the stock and option side. I'm only buying dividend stocks that have been around for a long time. They're very stable companies. They're companies that produce products that people have to have, such as food and maybe parts to fix their car if their car breaks, like uh, one of the companies I just traded today. So that's one of the bigger reasons why I decided to sell some properties is, is more to diversify. I have stocks and dividend stocks and options that I already own, but I'd like to increase the amount of income I get from those stocks and decrease some of the income that I'm getting from my real estate. So some investors are totally fine owing millions and millions of dollars to lending institutions and I was for, for many years, but I've reached a point that I just don't want that stress in my life anymore. And although I would never thought I would have said this in my 20s and 30s, now that I'm into my 40s, I like to minimize the amount of stress that goes on, especially when it comes to, to business. 
And so that's another one of the reasons why I chose to sell off some property and move that money over to stocks and options um, as compared to doing a refinance. It's been a hard decision, partly because, number one, I don't like paying taxes that I don't have to pay. Fortunately, I do have some depreciation and things that I can write off some of my income against that helps. But if you do decide to sell off some property instead of doing a refinance to pull some cash out of your rental properties, and you do want to set aside the appropriate amount of taxes that you can pay to the IRS when the, when the tax comes due. here at the attorney's office for the closing so although I've been putting this off and not super excited about selling all three of my babies that maybe some good rental income last year I think it's the right thing to do so we're gonna jump in here sign some documents hopefully walk out with a nice check and I'll let you know how it goes all done everything went very smooth the buyer did everything he was supposed to do and and we're all done so after closing you know I still feel a little bit of a I'm gonna miss that income it was three of my nicer houses they're ones I'd owned for a while I had really good solid tenants in them but I feel like based on the situation going on in the economy with the potential of maybe some really good deals in the real estate world as well as some really good deals in the stock world which I want to take advantage of right away, I feel like it was the right thing to do. And it leaves me so I don't, I'm not burdened with a bunch of debt. I'm still relatively, uh, I have low debt, which I like at this point in my life. I like that to continue. So what am I gonna do with the money? Well, I have several investments in stocks and options that I'm going to do. I've already been researching them. I already have positions in some of those companies and the prices have just come down. So I'm gonna buy some more of those. They yield good dividends. Uh, those dividends coupled with uh, the options I can sell against those positions should net me about what I've been making on my rental property. And I don't have to deal with someone saying I can't collect rent or uh, a sheriff not being there to deliver the eviction notice to a tenant. So it'll be a nice way to diversify my income. I still love my rental property. I'm still gonna keep buying rental property. I expect to pick up some deals over the next coming months and I wanna pick up some deals, but I also wanna diversify a little more of my income into the stock and option uh, part of my business. So I hope you enjoyed my journey today. You're able to ride along with me. Thank you for riding with me. And in future videos, what I'm going to do is talk about how I replace that income. And in some of my other videos, you see that I trade options and stocks as well as I love rental property. But I'm going to show you what I do with this money, how I turned it into monthly income that helps me continue to live uh, relatively debt-free with nice, stable cash flow. So until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.